Hello, uh, welcome back to our channel. This time we have brought to you a topic in the subject of control system. So as you can see on the screen, we have been given one plot or the graph. Uh, on the y-axis, you have got the gain expressed in dB. And on the x-axis, you are given a frequency in hertz. And the frequency range is from 0 hertz to the 10 to the power 7. So it's about 10 megahertz. OK, and now you see at the DC or at the frequency f equal to 0, you have a gain in dB that is uh, 100 decibel that is 100 dB and then at frequency up to frequency 10 Hertz uh, you have got uh, the gain constant 100 dB but thereafter the gain starts dropping and it continues up to 100 Hertz here and the gain may be somewhere here you got so that number is not given here and then the gain suddenly drops at the frequency of 1 kilohertz and the drop rate here is minus 20 dB per decade. And then you have a gain drop of minus 40 uh, dB per decade and so on and so forth. So you can see that uh, the gain here is uh, dropping. Okay. And then you have a relatively constant gain again, as you can see that here, you have a constant gain. So how to understand this behavior? So basically this behavior is understand and this behavior is caused due to the poles into the system and zeros into the system. So when you write transfer function of your electronic system, which is let's say the ratio Laplace transform of output voltage divided by the Laplace transform of the input voltage, where S is the complex variable. And here, this is called as a transfer function TF, which is then expressed by your term in the numerator and your term in the denominator. So in the numerators, you have zeros or zero frequency and you have all frequencies, okay? So Paul's job is to have a cause, a drop in the frequency and the zeros uh, job is to nullify that drop. Now, uh, we want to understand how many poles are there in this Bode plot and how many zeros are there in this Bode plot that is causing this kind of shape into the system, okay? So you can see now you've got this kind of shape right over here, right over here, right over here. So let us count uh, that, okay? So what you write here, so frequency range is from zero to 10 to the power seven hertz. This is your frequency, okay? Uh, so we will write, okay, uh, frequency at the frequency in hertz. We'll make a table here and then we'll say, okay, uh, pole, okay, number of poles and here, you say number of zeros, okay? Or we'll just say uh, um, it's, it's uh, we'll just say it's the zeros right here. Let me write here. So it's the zeros, and we'll then count together, okay? So let's start. Uh, when is the first poll occurring? We will write that. So the first pole is occurring at the frequency of 10, uh, 10 hertz, okay? Uh, here at DC, you have a constant gain, as you can see, and then at frequency 10 hertz, so we'll write here at 10 hertz, you have one pole. Uh, that is causing a drop in the gain of minus 20 dB per decade. Then at 100 hertz, you have got the drop in the gain from minus 20 per decade to minus 60. So there is additional drop of minus 40 dB per decade, actually. So we can say that there are at 
100 hertz or 10 to the power 2 actually. So we'll say there are two more poles that is causing there, okay? And uh, at those frequencies, you don't have any zero. Then at this frequency, uh, the drop which was minus 60 per dB, uh, minus 60 per decade, uh, minus 60 dB per decade is, uh, is, is increased again. Uh, and uh, you can say that the slope, uh, there was a steep slope here, and but the slope is now improved. So it is now minus 40 per decade uh, at this frequency, that is one kilohertz. So you say that there occurs a zero there because for minus 60, you got at, at this frequency, you got plus 20 dB per decade. So minus 60 plus 20 becomes minus 40 dB per decade, okay? Then at 10 to the power four, we will say uh, you got the slope here is zero, zero dB per decade. So because you see there is no slope here. Uh, so you say that this initially it was minus 40 and now it is zero dB. So you got two more uh, zeros at that frequencies. Then at 10 to the power five, let us write here, at 10 to the power five, you got the pole or zero we'll see. So here you have a zero dB per decade and you got suddenly a slope of minus 40 dB per decade. So we'll say that you got two poles at that frequency and zero zeros. Again, you have at 10 to the power six, Finally, you have one more pole because the slope is uh, downgraded again. So my, from minus 40, it got now minus 60. So let's say one pole here and zero here. So this is how you will analyze actually the number of poles and the zeros on a given Bode plot, okay? So now it's time to count how many poles are there and how many zeros are there. So let us do that. So we see now you have got one pole, two, and two here and one. So total number of poles in this system are six. So we'll see that the poles, the total number of poles in this Bode plot is equal to six. And what about the number of zeros? So here you see that there are three number of zeros. Total number of zeros are equal to three. So you got total six poles and three zeros. Okay, so poles and zeros in the transfer function of an electronic circuit or system determines how the gain and the phase with respect to frequency varies okay and uh, in the in the gain when the gain is expressed in decibel it is easier to understand the behavior of your plot okay by means of so poles and zeros. so what is basically the poles and zeros and what are their frequencies so it can be understood by means of a simple example so let me give you an example here so what you do here basically uh, let's say you have a circuit ray uh, with the register r and the capacitor c here and then you have got the input signal uh, let us say that is V in and across the capacitor you want to measure an output. So, and then there is this current and all that. So here we know that we can derive the output is equal to the impedance of a capacitor one over J omega C divided by R plus one over J omega C. Uh, okay, so uh, that that's how you represent it actually. And uh, transfer function of uh, this in the S domain, where where you put S equal to, uh, where you put actually uh, put J omega equal to S, okay? And in that case, V over S, 
uh, v in over s actually uh, can be represented by 1 over 1 plus rc s where x is the complex variable variable in s domain okay so here basically you see that and if when you take a magnitude of this uh, trans function uh, and then you express that magnitude in the decibel you got the you get the plot something similar to this so here you have a magnitude of the gain in uh, db and then so you have plot something like this of this circuit. So this is a kind of first order low pass filter. So here you have a constant slope up to this frequency, which is let's say omega c, which is given by one over r c. Uh, this is called as cutoff frequency, frequency, and it is also called as pole frequency. So here comes your first pole where your gain. Uh, drops, uh, let's say the slope here is 0 dB per decade and then here the slope becomes minus for this line when minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so that's how the behavior of these uh, systems. So when, when you have this kind of uh, uh, resistor and the capacitor together, they form a pole into the system. Okay, and uh, that's how you define it. So hope you found this uh, brief video. I'm not going to derive uh, this transfer function. We have done uh, that in some other uh, modules earlier. So you are encouraged to refer to that. So the objective of this uh, module was to give you about uh, the understanding about this uh, this plot actually the the Bode plot or the here this this Bode plot and understand uh, what the poles are, what the zeros are, and how the plot behaves when they occur into the system. So if you found this video useful, click the like button, hit the subscribe, share this with others for wider reach and stay tuned for more engaging contents like this. Till then, wish you happy learning.